Hello everyone, this is RxC001 from Neverlight Gaming PC, here to give you another tutorial. This time it is on how to update your BIOS, specifically the Gigabyte GA970A D3 motherboard. Now there are several steps to this uh, installation of a new update for your motherboard. Warning, this is a delicate procedure. If not done correctly, your motherboard can result in a BIOS malfunction, which will result in not being able to be usable at all. Please use at your own discretion. Thank you. Okay, so first you have to get a USB drive. Uh, my USB drive is removable disk G, that doesn't really matter. So you have to right, cl you have to right click on it, go scroll down to format, press format, and make sure you uh, format in FAT32. If it's on NTFS, you want, you're going to want to change to FAT32. Alright, uh, uncheck quick format and just start the format. That way you can fully format the whole removable disk. Alright, once that's done, you're going to have to go on the internet, and this is optional. I'm not really sure if uh, you can extract files with Renoir uh, for BIOS, but I picked 7-zip because it seemed to, um, seemed to work. Depends on what kind of operating system you have, 32-bit, 64-bit. I think if you have 64-bit, you have to download 32, then 64. But if you have 32-bit, just download the 32-bit and install 7-zip. Once you install 7-zip, you're going to have to go to Gigabyte. Go to the Gigabyte uh, website. There is a link in the description showing where the specific motherboard, the GA nine seven zero A three A, sorry, nine seven zero A D three motherboard is located on the website. You are going to want to go to downloads. Make sure BIOS is download type, and you and I picked Beta BIOS. Beta BIOS it has a few glitches, but it should not um, it should not crash as much or it should just not crash at all unless there are some specific reasons such as memory management but I'm not going to get into that. So pick which region you are from and download from one of these regions. Once you have your BIOS downloaded you're going to want to drag the file into your removable disk uh, well space. Uh, it should be empty and formatted into FAT32 by now. So if you drag that in there it should be located right there. You're going to want to double click it and extract to your removable disk, which should be G. Mine is G right now. So extract. You should get three files. Press yes to all. You should get three files. Uh, 970AD3.11C, which is the uh, type of update, which is the 11C, which is the beta BIOS. Auto bat and flash SPI.exe. Once you have all that downloaded, you're going to want to close up your computer and completely turn it off then turn it back on uh, I am going to be in live action right now if you want to see me and I'm going to show you how to do the rest of the setup so here we go hello everyone this is RxC001 for the second part of the BIOS setup so once you turn off your computer you're going to want to turn it back on and you should get a uh, motherboard screen with, that says uh, gigabyte or at least not the same graphic you're going to want to press your N key for Q flash which is something that this motherboard utilizes for updating your BIOS. I'm sorry if I may be talking a bit too fast because uh, the computer is doing a lot of stuff and I need to talk fast in order to keep up with what I'm looking at. So once you press end uh, when you're on the motherboard screen you should get uh, a box that says this on your screen. It should say update BIOS from drive. You're going to want to press enter. And once you press enter you should get uh, uh, a little text that says HDD 1-0. You want to press enter you want to scroll down to 970AD3.11C. So once you see this file, you want to want to press enter. It will read the BIOS file and it will ask you, are you sure you want to update your BIOS? You press enter. I'm going to press ex escape because I already updated the BIOS. So once your BIOS is updated, it should restart your computer. Once your computer restarts, it will show you a new graphic which should look similar to mine. Press delete to go to your BIOS setup. Because there is one more thing you have to do before you actually go on your computer and just go absolute nuts on it. So once after that, you are going to go to your load optimize default, press enter, and put in a capital Y for yes. Press enter again, and it doesn't really look like anything's changed, but it has. Once you're done, go save and exit setup. Uh, it should say Y already, and then just press enter, and then your computer computer is going to restart. I cannot explain, I cannot uh, emphasize this enough. This is a very delicate procedure. So if you don't have any problems, do not do this. But if you do have uh, common problems with uh, crashing, uh, it's recommended that you should do this. And uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I am RxC001 and have a great computer.